Hey, Kelly, how are you? I'm great, Bo. How are you? I'm doing awesome. Have you heard about Anchor? You mean that big, heavy thing that you throw off the side of a boat? No, silly. The podcast app that helps you distribute your podcast episodes to a bunch of major websites. Wow, that's super cool. Yeah, it's a creation tool that allows you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Ooh, I love less work. That sounds fantastic. And you can even make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. Ooh, I also love to make money. Yeah, so just download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Do it. Do it. What's up, everybody? This is Precisely Podcast, and you are listening to a Happy Hour episode, and we are talking about Animal Crossing, and we are talking about the brand new game, New Horizons. I'm Kelly, and with me is Bo. Hello, hello. And also with us today, we have a super special guest, virtually connecting with us all the way down south in Florida. We got Matt. What up, what up, from the goddamn Gatorland. Yeah. Yeah. He's got an alligator holding his microphone right now as we speak. He is. I swear. <laughs> I'm petting him right now. He loves me. So how are we all doing tonight? Doing good. Uh, excited Chilling. to do another Happy Hour podcast. I just did one uh, recently with Chad and my wife, Kayla, and that turned out pretty cool. Yeah, yeah so it was good. If you guys are... Uh, just checking in for the first time or you know a loyal listener we've started this now it's called happy hours about an hour-long podcast about a specific subject like i said today we're talking about the new animal crossing game so uh let's dive into it fellas since i know i've been playing a shit ton matt i know you've been playing a shit ton no i haven't really been playing that much i don't think all right well, not and, that much. <laughs> I know I've been playing a lot. It seems but like you guys have been on it uh, pretty much 24 7. Whereas yeah. I've been yeah. trying to get on like one hour every night. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're still working, man. Yeah. yeah. That's the Absolutely. other thing is you've got stuff going on. And uh, also, I know he and I got this day one, and you did not. So you're a couple days Shoot. behind us. I got yeah. it the day before it came out right that's right you texted me or you messaged me that you had it before and i was super jealous <laughs> dude there were people driving from uh miami to orlando to get it the day before i'm like y'all are wild that's, that's weird a little much i don't think yeah. i'd do that oh the people that did that were all in line uh talking to themselves and if you tried to talk to them all they were doing was just shaking in fucking joy oh oh all right it was a good vibe. Okay, cool. cool. Yeah, a little weird, but I was like, whatever, I'll take it over the, you know, midnight release of uh, Red Dead Redemption where there were, like, fights breaking out and people were God. beating the shit out of each other and all that good stuff. Yeah, and Breath of the Wild, when the Switch came out, that was my uh, day one release or the night before release, and everyone was quiet and silent, and it was midnight, and I'm, like, drunk in line being like, Zelda. Zelda. Everyone's just like, <laughs> why? <laughs> I'm like, aren't you guys excited for this? No, I mean, Animal Crossing is a, a beautiful game. And, you know, uh, what was the last one? Uh, New Leaf for 3DS. Yes. When did that come out? 2000, uh, I want to say 2013. Six? Oh, okay. Yeah. 2013. Okay. Um, so so I, got, I got years. that. Yeah, I've got that. When it was, yeah, I think it was 2013. Because I got that when it came out 
pretty close to the my 3ds when I got that. So yeah, I'm gonna yeah, say so it's that been a while somewhere on there. Yeah, it it has been a minute, and you know this this is a series that goes back onto the GameCube. Um, you had that release, then you had a DS release with Wild World, and then New Leaf, like we're talking about, and now we've got this. And wait, don't forget about the Abomination. Yeah, I was going to say, you can throw in Pocket Camp, but I uh, don't really. <laughs> and Amiibo Festival, and I don't yeah. I don't know. Those aren't games. No, I, those aren't real Animal Crossing games to me. No. Pocket Camp held my attention for like a hot second, and then I just, I don't do mobile games well, so that didn't fly for me. No. The um, new Leap was really, 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 really good. Yeah, it was, I know. Actually, yeah. I know I've talked about like how that game got me through life essentially, you know, when it felt like when I woke up and went to work and then came home and, you know, went to sleep kind of thing. It was like, well, what else is there? And then I found new leaf and it kind of opened up this whole world. Like, you know, I could create to be exciting and, and keep me going every day. So that's kind of how I feel about this one right now, because shit, the whole world has nothing to do right now. So let's lose ourselves in a world that we can create and, have fun in. Yeah, Absolutely. just to uh, date this podcast in the sense we're all going through a worldwide quarantine and uh, Animal Crossing just came out at the right time, literally probably the last day that most stores were open, if not even open to the public. But you could still go and pick up your copy of Animal Crossing. And really, I think it's helping out a lot of society right now to stay sane and do chores and do things in this virtual world. Hell yeah. I it's agree. Helping me. Yeah, for sure. I have, um, I've even had a friend contact me who does not play video games in any sense of the word. She was like, what is this animal crossing game? And would I like it? And I was like, actually you would like, I really think you would. And so she's going to, she's buying a switch and she's getting animal crossing. Same. My sister contacted me. Should I get animal crossing? I got nothing to do for a month, you know, like at least what, you know, so people who aren't even into video games or have never played an animal crossing game before are grabbing this game because they have nothing else to do. And they're hearing all these wonderful things about how you can do whatever you want. I've never seen so many of my, friends on the nintendo switch on at the same time playing the same game me neither saying yeah. i was gonna make that comment that yeah, i would really look up there and be like holy crap there's like 17 or 18 or 20 people and they're all playing animal crossing at any yeah. given time of the day honestly. yeah 24 7 yeah it's crazy but well so let's get started into talking about the game itself um so i want to hear you guys uh what you've named your island or what you're calling yourself if your name is different than your own name and like why all right Um, let me start this one off first because it it took me probably an hour (laughs) to just think of my name to think of my island took another like half an hour but then like my name and like can i change my eyes and my hairstyle like i had to text matt and i'm like yo, will I be able to change my eyes? Because I'm not sure if I like these eyes, but I like them for right now. And he's like, oh, yeah, you can change that. I'm like, what's your name? And he's like, oh, just Mattitude. Sorry to spoil your name, Matt, but uh, I don't care. I was like, uh, I was like, I don't want to just name myself Bo. Because, like, at first I did, and then the prompt came up, and it was like, this is what everyone's going to know you as. Like, also don't share anything personal about yourself. I'm like, well, Bo is pretty personal when it comes to me. So let me think. And, you know, Animal Crossing has always just been a cute, fun, joyous game to me. So I'm like, what is something that I like, you know, that might be like sort of Animal Crossing related? I was like, I'm going to name myself Mango Jam. I love it. So, you know, yeah. It's, It's a jam. And one thing that's not... I don't think that's ever been in an Animal Crossing is mangoes, which is unfortunate because I love mangoes as yeah, a fruit. Yeah, what the hell? It's good fruit. So Those it's a mangoes. cute, yeah, it's a cute name. And then uh, my island took probably just the same amount of time as my name on naming it. And I was like, what's like a cute like sound, you know, or sounds? And I was like, plee, plee, plow. So it's all one word, and it's P-L-I-P-L-I-P-L-O-W. 
so yeah, like I just sort of, I don't know, thought of, uh, yeah, just like cuteness, I guess. And I think I achieved it. It's a good, like, it's a good island vibe. Mango jam is like super islandy. Yeah. I it. I'm down with it. I'm jamming. How about you, Matt? Oh God. Okay. So I am horrible with this. I'm horrible with setting up like new systems, games, name tags, all of that, because I get so excited that I don't give a shit. So <laughs> yeah, I ignored everything that it said and I'm like, fuck this. If I make my name Mattitude, that's what my handle is on the switch anyway. So people won't get confused. You know what I mean? If I'm popping in, yeah. out, they'll know it's me at least. <laughs> and then I named it Warren Island. So fucking my friends would know whatever. Come that's to your fucking, last name. Yeah, it's whatever. But I, I just, I probably should have put more thought into it, but honestly, man, I was so stoked to play it that I didn't even give a shit. I was like, whatever Warren Island it is. Woo! Yeah, right. Let's get it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck it. Let's play the game. Right? Yeah. Let's jump right in. Yeah, that's the hardest part with starting a game for me is that initial character customization. It's like, this is your defining moment in this game. You have to do. And it's like, oh, shit. <laughs> I just I like want to play the game. I like when they let you do it later. <laughs> yeah. And like, hey, well, you can change all this bullshit and then do it later and then let's jump into the game. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, I agree. It took me a while. Like, I was honestly thinking about my island name, you know, the, the week of like when it came out like that monday i started thinking out like what was i gonna name my island because in my new leaf town i had named it hyrule and i was like okay like that's a cool name i like it zelda whatever but i was like i kind of want to switch it up for this one but i didn't know and i was like that'll be my backup plan kind of thing but i always leave my name as my name kelly so um i was just like trying to think about it and and i kind of wanted to like plan it so it would kind of have a theme like with my Hyrule, I kind of I made like I think it was like Song of Storms or something as my like town theme or song or whatever you know like that right. kind of stuff. So I was like trying to think about that, and I was thinking about some of my favorite games, and I thought about Katamari, and Katamari yep. means like a clump in Japanese, and an island is a clump of land in the ocean. So I thought, what better name than Katamari? So that's where I Butter. came up with mine. I like Butter it. And cool. It took me a minute, but I got there. <laughs> I yeah. dig it. And you actually made a really, like, a really cool flag with uh, the King of the Cosmos as mm -hmm. the flag, right? Yeah. Or is it the I prince? The prince, yeah. And yeah, then I was okay. showing Matt earlier today. I made a Katamari ball as well. I was thinking about switching out for that. So um, I have a, yeah, a ball. Yeah, it looked really good, too. And like, I have, really good. I was like, damn. Yeah, so that I kind of do, and my theme song right now is, um, it's a it's as close as I could get to uh, "Lonely Rolling Star." <laughs> oh, cool! From, there you go. from the the game, so I, that's like I I think about planning this island more probably um, than a lot of people. Like when they play their games, they just kind of play. But this game, I've been like thinking about planning a lot, so. Um, let's talk about that for a second. Like when you guys play this game, I know a lot of people just like, fuck it. I'm catching bugs and fish. I'm going to put my shit wherever I want. Do you guys kind of play that way? Or are you planning on playing that way? Or do you have like an idea? Like, do you have an idea for your Island? Are you thinking about the future? Like, where do you want buildings and people to go? And where do you want roads to be and things like that? I thought more so about placement of the houses and the buildings and structures, like, I wanted to keep my house and, like, the museum and the store and Tom Nook's place, like, all very close to me, you know, to my yeah. center house in case I have to backtrack and be like, oh, well, you know, I'm trying to empty my pockets, but I'm not trying to sell that to the Nook cranny, but I want to go back to my house to throw in all this material into storage for later but then I'm going to travel to another island, you know, to gather a bunch of material that I don't have right now. So I just sort of have everything centered around my house right now. And mm -hmm. then I'm keeping all my neighbors pretty far away from me. Hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. Matt, how about you? All right. So under normal circumstances, I would do what you're doing, Kelly. I would have it all mapped out and planned out and 
you know what I mean? I would figure have everything figured out how I'm going to do it this time around because of the fact I have no like I'm on lockdown right now. You, I can't leave my house by law. So I've just been getting as much shit as I can, throwing it everywhere, going completely crazy, and just knowing that I've got two more weeks to then put everything together once I have it. If that makes uh, any sense. No, I got you. That's kind of I get that. Um, I guess that's some of some of the way that I'm doing it. Um, I know when I got my island layout options and I picked the one that I picked, I thought, okay, this is, you know, looking at the maps, like, where do I want my plaza to be? Like, where do I want the core of my town to be? And like, I was thinking about separating my neighbors, putting them in a different spot and then leaving space for growing like plants and trees. Like right today, I was telling you guys, I was working on an orchard. I was organizing my fruit trees so I would keep them all in one spot kind of thing. Yeah, and, we uh, visited yeah. your your island today for the first time, at least for me. And uh, you have a plantation going on and you have oh, yeah. your, your <laughs> rows of trees literally labeled, which I don't know how you did that. But uh it's like, oh, this is a peach row. This is a cherry row, mm -hmm. row you know, apple row. I'm right. Like, wow, this awesome. is crazy. Yeah, and I'm, I'm kind of going to do the same thing. I have a, a separate plot of land on the other side of my island that I'm going to be putting my flowers all together because I'm going to do the uh, hybrid flowers. So if you don't know, if you put certain flowers next to each other in water, you have the chance to make a hybrid plant that can attract rare bugs. Oh, and you yeah, I've been doing them. that, a lot of that. Actually. Right. And so that's, that's how you can make a lot of money really easily. Also true. So that's um, the one thing that I'm going to be doing after, like, probably this week after my, my trees are all together is working on my garden. So that's another thing, like, you know, planning out where that stuff is going to go because, like you said, Matt, that's a huge source of income if you do it right. Yeah, I sent you, what was it? 20k Bo, and you said too much i'm laughing in my head because uh when we i did what we just talked about with the uh the flowers and the emperor butterflies are four thousand a piece oh so are they? five butterflies wow. that i gave you yeah so you see those <laughs> those blue butterflies yeah. flying around snatch them up also um Tarantulas they are, are eight thousand yeah. Yep. The emperor butterflies are disappearing at the end of March, so make sure you have one and donate it before mm. they go away if okay. you're into that. Um, yeah, that's something that I didn't know about until this morning because I was trying to go spoiler-free, and then I made the mistake, but not really mistake, of going on IGN for the first time in like a month, and I saw all the stuff that was timed, and I'm like, oh, shit. I got to catch all these yeah. things before this time or I got to wait until Christmas. Hell no. Right. I agree. I don't like to play with like a guide or anything for this, but at the same time, I'm kind of, I kind of like having to know like the time, like what I'm working for. No, now that I the saw the guide, I'm like, I'm using it. Yeah. No yeah. I, I like that a lot. It's um super helpful in that. Like I'm only, I only have like a, a fish or two left to catch before they all disappear at the end of the month. So that's kind of like another thing that can help me shift my focus. Instead of just like broadly fishing, I can go to that one space and yeah, I'll yeah. probably catch a shit ton of sea bass, but then I'll also catch, you know, the possibility of catching that one fish that I need to donate. So what uh, happens after a year then? Like once you have everything, once your museum potentially is completely full, what's there to do? I'm going to say they're going to add more. I don't well, think so. There's always think so? there's always something to do and that's the point of the game is that there will never be a point where there's nothing to do because they're always going to have um the calendar changes so you have a holiday. You know, there's always going to be that holiday coming around. Ah, true. And they I forgot about that. And they have different things that happen on the holidays. So you can only get certain things on the holiday or whatever it may be. So it's always going to be something to do, even if you finish your museum or, you yeah. know, you upgrade your house to the, you know, biggest plot or whatever. You're still going to have a bunch of stuff you can do. And, okay. like, it, it, you're always, it's just like a, a constant betterment, essentially. It's kind of like yeah. The Sims. Yeah. I mean, to me, this game doesn't really have an end, but I feel like once 
for me personally, once I would get the whole museum filled up with everything, that would be the end for me. I'd be like, all right, cool. I made this town museum, everything about it, all the residents, like happy. I'm out. I'm ready to play something else, you know? Uh, I played, I'm going to be honest with you, I played New Leaf until this one came out, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I did. And, I, I mean, I'm I mean, not every day. But yeah, I'm approaching I mean? this game completely different from you guys and probably from the mass majority that's playing it right now because my time is limited. And not right. to say that other people's time isn't limited right now, but uh, like I'm still working and trying to get stuff done around my house. So I am trying to log in every day because it benefits you to log in every day to get oh, some, yeah. certain things done. But I'm not like, oh my gosh, I need to keep fishing i need to keep hitting these rocks i need to shake every tree and hit every tree with a stone axe to get all the wood that can possibly be harvested like the first day and possibly the second day i was like that and i was like oh my gosh i'm doing it all you know and you're limited on how much you can do because the museum's not open by then uh the store's not even open by then uh but you can like buy certain things, harvest certain things, and do all that. And then by the third day, I freaking forgot about logging in. And I'm like, damn it, I missed out. Ah, ah. (laughs) And it sucked, you know? Yeah. But uh, at the same time, like, the world's still going on. You know, there's an internal clock in this game. For anyone that doesn't know what this game is, it's pretty much like a real-world time simulation in uh, an animal island that you're a part of, that you're in control of, that nobody else is really hunting or searching for stuff in, for this museum on your island. You're the key master. You know, you're the one that's doing all the, the grunt work, essentially, and doing all the chores and making sure that the island's picked up. Yeah. Right. Did you yeah. guys check out the um, the uh, Amiibo support yet? I no. have not yet. All right, so I have all not all of them. I think I'm missing two, but I got a whole bunch of them for really cheap before this game came out. And there's the Harvey's Island. So you can go <laughs> there, and I don't completely understand it, but you can scan in certain characters. It'll pop them in. Like, I know Tom Nook was one of them. You can put clothes on them and then take pictures, but I don't understand what the reward <laughs> for doing it is. It's yeah. Weird. It's a little weird. Yeah. When, yeah. I, yeah. when I got to Harv's Island and I went in the, the place, he's like, this is where you can take pictures. I'm like, uh, okay. I was like, and then there's like a, this freaking studio from Saw, homie. What's going on here? Yeah. Then there's the couch over there. And I'm like, why don't you have a seat right over there? Like, is no. Chris Hansen going to come through the door? And Hell things? no. Yeah. <laughs> creepy. But anyways, I, I looked it up today because I'm like, this is bullshit because the Amiibo support was huge in the last game. That was mm-hmm. how you could get people to come to live in your island and all that and it will i know this is a probably a spoiler full podcast but at some point you will be able to scan in your amiibos and you can convince the people by giving them things to move to your town so if you have i don't know if it's just animal crossing ones because in new leaf like uh the one god damn it the amiibo that came out with um the Twilight Princess uh, remake on the Wii U. You know what yeah, the Wolf about? Link. The Wolf Link. So that one, like, he lived on my island, or he lives on my island in um, New Leaf. So I don't know if it's just going to be Animal Crossing amiibos that they're going to scan in, or they could do what they did last time, where they just let you have somebody, like, you know, maybe Pac-Man will come live on your island. I don't fucking know. But that there weird. might be. There might be. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they threw in some sort of something like that, where you could get a shirt or, you know, something. If you scan the amiibo, you can get something out of it. And I always like, dig that, because I'm a sucker for those things. I don't know. I probably got 50 or 60 of them, so it comes... I love it when they do amiibo support. Yeah. I agree. I have to, I actually have to set up my shelf for my Amiibos, (laughs) get them all out of the box so I can actually use them for this game now. Right. I know I went to buy some, the two that I'm missing for this game and then realized that every store is closed. (laughs) (laughs) Oh no. I know. Um, so 
we were talking kind of about how we, you, you were saying, Bo, how you were checking in, you know, and you were only doing like an hour a day. Um, do you guys, what is your, your snapshot of your day then look like? Like what are tasks that you personally try to get done every single day? Like, do you have some sort of schedule that you try to stick to when playing this? So mainly for me, it would be, uh, go to the, the Nook Miles computer, right? Is that what it is? The yep. Nook Miles computer? The Nook stuff, yeah. ATM looking yeah, thing. log into that, you know, do that. Uh, harvest some apples, maybe. Talk to your neighbors. Talk to Nook. Uh, see what's going on. Like, essentially for me, something's been opening up new every day. Um, you know, what, there's five fossils that you can find each day? Mm-hmm. I've, so, I've found them on the islands, too, if you do the, um, okay. the, the little experience. So, yeah, I really – I only yeah. travel to one island uh, so far. But, uh, yeah, my own island, I've been trying to find all five fossils, donate those to the museum. And that's about it, you know, like maybe catch a bug or two, maybe fish a little bit, uh, hit the rocks. But one thing that I've noticed about hitting the rocks is that they're being destroyed. Okay. Hmm. Does so, that happen? Are you eating fruit before hitting the rocks? No. Okay. Why? Doesn't so that make if you explode? Yeah, if you eat fruit before you hit the rocks, it gives you more strength. So you would be uh, able to like pull up a tree or break a rock. So if you yeah. eat fruit before it, it's gonna break the rock. If you don't, it's just gonna do you're like bouncing off and you can get eight things out. Oh. So what's the benefit of uh eating fruit then? So you can, if like, you, pick up a tree and move it. Right. So it. right now, like, I'm re, I'm moving all my trees. So I'm uh, eating a fruit and then digging up a tree. Okay. So and that's what it was. If you off of it, it'll dig it up and you can move it. Yeah. So I still had fruit in me from the day before, I think. Huh. And that made me powerful. Yeah. yeah. It makes you run know. faster, too. Yeah, that, too. But, yeah. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, it's, this polished, man. I'll give it that. The game is polished, and it's beautiful. Matt, what's your uh, your normal day look like in Animal Crossing? What's your daily? I usually get up. I do the pretty much the same routine. Find out what I can do that's new. And I'm like, all right, cool. Then I go around my entire island, pick, I don't know, some people leave everything up. I pick everything. I find all the fossils go back, do everything that I can do, and then I start going off and doing the little, you know, going to other people's islands, um, doing the, what are they like, called, excursions or whatever for the, with the Nook Miles yeah. until the nighttime. And then I'll pop it back on and do the same thing again because uh, it seems like it kind of resets at night and different creatures come out and whatnot. Right. Um, I think – Creatures usually turn over around 4 or 5 p.m. I think you start yeah, seeing different four. creatures. Yeah. So I I kind of do the same thing. I get up well, right now with not really working. I get up in the morning and um, I have my breakfast and I play Animal Crossing while I eat my breakfast. So I check in, you know, with the resident services building. I check in at the uh, nook stop machine which also really reminds me of the uh, pokemon center machine like every time oh, i log on i feel like i'm, I'm gonna go check my pokemon box <laughs> right. log into bill's pc <laughs> i didn't um, put that together oh, man. <laughs> but uh, um so i go on there and i usually get my you know daily bonus see what's on the shop for the day buy anything um i also do the uh, go around, shake my trees, because you can usually get some bells and, like, I think at least two furniture pieces fall out, I think. Yeah. If you Are you shaking tree. every tree, then? Yeah. Yeah, everything, usually everything except the fruit. Uh, I, I, hit them with the, I, I hit them with the stone hammer and pick up all the wood, yeah. too. I'm a psychopath. Yeah. yeah, I do that, too. Um, See, that just seems like so much work. But not when you have absolutely nothing to do and you can't leave your house. Yeah. So <laughs> for us right now, yes, it's not. It's In perfect. normal times, I would definitely not be playing like this. But with yeah. what's going on, I mean, I, I'm trapped here. You know what I yeah. mean? Not trapped, but I don't want to go anywhere because 
you know what I mean, of what's going on. I'd rather just sit put and play Animal Crossing. Yeah, Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I look for my fossils. I check in with all my neighbors. Um, If I have time, I usually send out a mail to a neighbor or multiple neighbors um, from the airport. They have a mail stop there. You can send postcards. Um, And then I usually check in with the uh, shops around, like, to see what's for sale there, you know, what's hot at the nooks cranny what they have available as far as walling and floor and all the stuff there and then also if there's turnips you know if i have turnips what the price is for that you know because you want to sell when you get to a higher price point on those um and yeah after that after that stuff is done then i start looking at like okay what is a task that i wanted to get done like today i was like i want to start working on my orchard so i started doing that and then you know then i can go and intermittently go to like a nook miles ticket or go to a friend's island or you know head out and um start fishing and catching bugs if you know that's if i'm looking for something in particular and so that's pretty much um, and like I, i'll do it for a little bit and then i'll have my afternoon late morning afternoon evening to do whatever i need to do for the day and then at the end of my day i go lay in bed and do it all over again like you know, just yeah. finish up my day on it. Right on. I feel you. Yeah. So, um, when you guys are visiting other people's islands, um, Bo, you said you really haven't visited too many other people's islands. Um, you know, is there, or you feel like there is a certain etiquette you're following, or are you just going batshit crazy on other people's islands right now? When I was at your island earlier today, I got all the fruit that I needed Mm -hmm. for my own island. And I just figured you have all these trees with fruit on them that it doesn't matter. I was like, oh, I need peaches. Oh, I need uh, apples. And I also need, what's the other one? Oranges. And Mm -hmm. so I grabbed all those for myself. And I grabbed more than I probably needed. Yeah. So, well, yeah. yeah, when, you know, when I open up my island, I usually tell people, you know, take what you need kind of thing. Um, I've also set up at the front of my island, like a spot that I'm leaving some things that like people can take if they need them. If I have like extras or something or something looks cool, but I don't want it, like I'll leave it up there. And then there's also a spot for people to leave whatever they don't want. Like if you take, you know, if there are cherries sitting there and you take the cherries and you only needed three and you took five, you can put the other two back on that spot or whatever. If you have something you think I might like, you can leave it there. So like, even if I'm like off doing something else, it's a spot for somebody to leave. Yeah. I thought that was really cool of you to do. Yeah. Yeah, That is really cool. It's like a a book exchange area, you know, a library or something. Yeah. I dig it. Yeah, it also kind of is helpful because, you know, when I'm playing, I'm not always, you know, if I'm not on voice chat or whatever with somebody, I'm not always, like, talking to them specifically or they don't know where I'm at on the island if they want to give me something. So it kind of makes a spot that's indicated for anybody to leave anything or take something. Nice. Matt, no, Matt what cool. do you think? Uh, how, have you been, how have you been on other people's islands? I've just been trying to go to other people's islands and kind of, how can I say, just bartering, being like, hey, I got this, you got this, I got that, I'll give you this. I'm not, like, per se trading, but being like, hey, I have a whole bunch of this stuff, do you need it? And if you got anything really cool, you can, like, maybe throw it my way. (laughs) Right, yeah. No, I agree. I mean, I've been reaching out to, and, like, we were saying earlier, like people, everybody's playing this. Like there are people who I haven't talked to in a while, like that I knew in real life from, you know, school or something else. And I'll oh, just, for sure. and they'll hit me up and be like, Hey, I got animal crossing and I need some iron. Do you have any or like whatever? And I'll be like, yeah, come over like, or, you know, let, open up and I'll come over and I'll bring you some or whatever. And I don't really I like the drop in the messages with the presence. I think that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. I do that a lot. Like if I find something or if I see something in a shop that I know somebody would want, I will immediately send that over. Like, absolutely. 
the <laughs> the first day that I got the ability to like send from the airport, I had a trash can and I sent it to my friend. I was like, I feel like you would enjoy this. Oh boy. <laughs> and he was like, absolutely. So like that kind of, it's, it's so fun to just be able to be like, I don't know why, but I feel like you'd like this and just send it to somebody and they'll get it, you know, in an hour or whatever and be like, oh man, that's good. I like that. <laughs> I know. I even got a, uh, my wife is playing too. And, uh, I got like some, I don't know. It was, it actually looked like clothes she would wear in real life. I'm like, what the fuck am I going to do with this besides sell it? So I sent it over to her and then she's rocking it in the game. And I'm like, that's fucking cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, I'm still trying to find clothes that sort of relates to like how I wear. Like I found jeans, I found boots. I'm like cool, but now I'm wearing like a like an old uh, airplane pilot like yeah. leather cap right. with you, goggles. You, on, you know, you weren't on the voice chat earlier, but I said to Matt, I said Bo's coming off the plane in 1940 here. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I'm just like, what am I doing with myself right now? But uh, oh, I'm dressed perfectly, exactly how I would be, bro. I'm wearing a yeah. camouflage skirt, pink <laughs> flip flops. You know what I'm saying? I got some green, ninja or maybe mask. they're blue tights on. Yeah, what's uh, that mask around your face? You have like know, a hoodie man. the wrong way, or not a hoodie, but like a like a bandana I, the wrong way around that. your face. I shot down one of those uh, balloons and it gave me some ninja mask and I'm like, oh, hell yes. <laughs> okay. So can we talk about the face painting? Because I saw that you have it on on your character, Matt. Um, you're, what, Mr. Meatball or something? Yeah, so all of the, like how Kelly was making the, uh, she made the Precisely logo. Um, yeah. And then the Katamari Two pieces. So you any of those little QR things, you can find them all over the internet. You can scan them into the game and then put them like once you basically once you get them in there, you can you go to the customization and you can either put them on your shirt or on your face. So I went through and did a whole bunch of them and they looked really stupid on the face, but then the Meat Boy one looked really awesome. So I kept it. I don't really <laughs> think it looks that awesome. But okay. <laughs> I feel like he looks like a, I don't know, like a goddamn Islander, man. It's got the face yeah. tats. Yeah, see, I don't know. I don't understand the whole pattern thing on the face because it's the two cheeks and then it's the forehead and it's separated, whereas like the pattern on a shirt or tapestry or wall or whatever is just a solid pattern. You know, all right. four squares are connected. Whereas the face, it's separated. The bottom two squares are separated. From oh, the it cheeks. looks crazy as hell. Yeah, yeah. It's weird. It's like, what's the point of this? How can you make any image look good and cohesive? I don't know. And, and like, to me, I would rather be able to like spread out or like move closer the squares and, actually like make a beard on my character oh you have to i forgot to tell you too just uh to let you know bo because of all of this shit since we're on lockdown i'm not shaving i'm doing it okay <laughs> cool i am i swear i'm not shaving I'm I'm you're making those on. chops into a beard the whole, yeah dude full beard i'm getting there good oh, do it get man. it wizard beard baby do it yeah so yeah i wish i i wish i didn't have to look like a kid on animal crossing Nah, yeah. but it's but it's, it's it's got that vibe. And you're and you're you're saying you're you know making your it, it's not you it's not Bo. So why it's should it Mango look like Jam? But Mango it, Jam actually has a longer beard than Bo does. So, oh, so he's more of like a castaway vibe kind of thing. Yeah, you. yeah. you're gonna have a volleyball. Mango <laughs> Jam has a braided beard down to his knees, actually. So, oh, oh yeah, he damn. does. Yeah, I'm looking for that. Damn. And there's mangoes intertwined in the beard. I love that. So yeah. if he has, he's gets hungry, you can just take a little snack right from his beard. It's actually a lemon tree in his beard, but yeah. Holy Man shit. Mango jam. Yeah. You could eat that thing or you can use it as a garnish. So <laughs> I had a question. <laughs> Do you guys know, like, my third day in Animal Crossing, does that look different from your guys' third day in Animal Crossing? Like, when it comes to like what's stocked in the stores and it's, like it's yes. different everywhere, everywhere. Yeah, because every island I visited to was selling different items. Okay, yeah. 
so it's just all different algorithms like what you chose as yourself maybe like your know. name I, I like... don't know i think it's a random kind of thing it's like just okay. up whatever and the other thing is i've noticed um visiting other people's stuff and whatever not only is it random if you have you know this coffee cup in your nook's cranny or whatever it also is random if you have an, a peddler there like uh sahara like she can come whenever she might not be on your island that day, but maybe she's on your friends or uh, yeah, um, yeah, gotcha. like Mabel, if you don't have her shop set up yet and she's in your plaza, she might be there or maybe she won't be on your friends. Like, so those kind of, except for the turnips, like traveling salespeople and stuff like that and Gulliver and things like that, they show up randomly. So maybe, they're not there on your island, but they can be on your friends. But that doesn't mean that you can't use utilize that person. Like, if I knew that Sahara was your on your island, Bo, and she was not on mine that day, or even if she was, I would go to your island and I could interact with her and still buy walls and floors from her. Right. Okay. I, it was funny. We tried to, than ones on mine. I had to do like a kind of like a similar situation. So. Uh, the, the store eventually is going to upgrade. I don't know if it's done it for you guys. Uh, Tom knows. No. Okay. So all that's going to be shut down for a day. So I didn't buy any of the tickets to go fly out the night before. And I'm like, uh... fuck, I can't fucking go out for the whole day. So then I went to my wife and I'm like, Hey, let me go into your game and try to do it. Well, you can't use the terminal in somebody else's game. So I'm like, son of a bitch. So then I'm like, well, how about this? You buy them, drop them on the ground. I'll pick them up. And then tomorrow I'll buy two. And then I'll come over to your island and drop them and you pick them up. And that was our workaround. Yeah. And that worked. Absolutely do that. Absolutely worked. That's cool. I like that. You know, I like being able to manipulate a game where it's like, uh, maybe you shouldn't be doing this, but, oh, here's a way to do it. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's definitely – it's a super flexible game. You know, like I was saying, if somebody has something that you don't or on your island or like even when I started this game, my friend had bought it at midnight on that night, like digital download, and I started playing once my copy got here at like 1 p.m. or whatever. So yeah. she was a couple hours ahead of me, but in – turn like within a day or so she had had like gotten the ladder she got the recipe for the ladder to climb the cliffs and i didn't get that yet yeah so she built i gave her the wood and she built me a ladder and gave it to me so i got the ladder technically ahead of when i was supposed to have it so i was able to climb my cliffs and get you know extra weeds and stuff and fossils i could donate and sell and things like that so i could get a little bit ahead so like feasibly if somebody were to pick up the game like right now and they were like, yo, Kelly, let me come over. I could set them up with an entire slew of tools they wouldn't have access to for yeah. you know, another couple of hours. And Matt hours. actually did that for me. He gave me the shovel a day before I could get it because you you get the shovel right. uh, once a museum opens, right? Yeah. Yep. Right. With I did that for my buddy's wife last night. Yeah. The whole, like, what you just said. She came over and had just been working her ass off and – Loves the game, haven't had a chance to play very much, and she's like, I don't care about, you know, having to wait every day. I just want access to everything, and I was like, I got you. She came over, and I yep. made, like you said, I made her a shovel, I made her fishing pole, I made her uh, the little vaulting pole, everything, so that way she could at least go and enjoy her island, because she doesn't have time to play right now, so. Right, yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. Help her out a little bit. It's cool. Good, Yeah. And it's cool that they give you that option to do that in game, you know, to help each other out in that way and not like lock it up or anything. Like cap it out, right? Like if you haven't got to that point, then you can't give it to that person. That would be kind of lame. Right. So I'm glad they have that option because then that can open up a lot of doors for people. I mean, and I don't time travel, but if people did and they wanted to bring things like. I wanted to to bring that up. Is that a thing yet? Are people doing it? People have been doing it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this one, I mean, I know people did it in the other one, but are they doing yeah, it in this one in now? This one. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like it's going to corrupt your data I, if you keep I doing it. I just don't do it. I I'm just, not doing it. Yeah, it's not for me. Nope. Yeah. Do like the simple cheats, like you're saying, like if you have a friend that's 
a couple of days ahead of you or you just started, you need some items or bells, get some from him, you know, or her if they're willing to give it to you. But, uh, yeah, I just play the game how it's meant to be played, I feel like. Yeah, you know? exactly. I agree. Um, I was going to say we were talking about the patterns a lot the design patterns. And I think those are a huge key to this game because they really opened up a lot of doors. Like I know in new leaf, basically with the patterns, you could just like make a design for your flag or for your clothes or whatever. And that was it. But with this game, you can make patterns and you can put it on your walls. You can put it on your floor. You can wear it. You can put it on your flag. You can put it on the ground. How do you get a flag? You have to upgrade your um, resident services building. Yeah, I've just figured that out. How do you do that? Um, they'll eventually like prompt okay. you to do it. Okay. Um, but so I've been um, well, I've been designing my own. But then also, I recently found out about a website, which is where I use to make the precisely logo. If you haven't, if you play the game and enjoy the podcast and you like our logo, um, check out any of our socials, Facebook or Instagram. Um, I posted a QR code. Oh, I should do it to the website too. We'll do that tonight. I'm flying oh, the yeah. flag. Um, I posted a QR code um, that has the link to download um, our logo into the Animal Crossing game. Um, all you need to do is have your Nintendo Online app on your phone, your iPhone or your Android or whatever. Open your camera app scan that code into the QR section on the Nook link. And then when you go into your game, you can just download it um, under your designs app on your in-game phone. And it'll be able, you'll be able to use it to wear it as a shirt or to put it on your wall or whatever. But um, so this website I saw, it, it's called acpatterns.com. And you can upload basically any photo and it'll pixelate it so it can make it into an Animal Crossing design. Oh, and God. then it'll generate a QR code, or you can just oh, design God. your own right there using your mouse. And why are you saying, "Oh God, Matt"? Because that's because he's, ruin got, me he's got ideas. Make so much crazy shit. You already know, man. I got the <laughs> iPad here, so I'll be able to make anything. Yeah. So, um, but so this also this website is opening up a huge option like you could think of anything like if you were like oh i can't draw this on there but i really wish i had a picture of my dog to hang on my wall you could upload a picture of your dog they would pixelate it so it comes out to look like your dog in animal crossing and all you have to do is scan the qr code to have it in game so people are doing tons of stuff where they're uploading pictures of things onto that website or creating it themselves and putting it on this game and like I did the fruits. Like, I made the fruits to put on the ground for my orchard. Yeah, super smart. A- the other thing I did today was I generated a pattern with, like, a brick pattern. And I'm using it to create a pathway. I saw so, that. Yeah. yeah cool. So I don't have options to do roads yet. And it, you'll eventually get to be able to make roads. But I'm not there yet in the game. But I wanted to start laying a road out. So I started making paths on the ground just using the design template. Oh, man, that's so cool. Yeah, I so like that. I think that that design template thing is going to be huge because people are making outfits. People are making art. People are creating oh, paths and stuff. Like, it is so cool that they made that. So you mark my words, I'm going to make something this week on my iPad, and I'm going to upload it. I can't wait. I'm going to. That's going to be And if you really wanted to, you could each pattern thing that you can make, right, in game, Mm -hmm. that could be a a small square for a giant pattern. Yes. Yes. You can make a huge – So if you, like, really wanted to, like, lay it down all on your island, you could, like, make a a super detailed – Right. I saw somebody made like a welcome mat and it was basically it was bigger so it was two squares worth like the left side and the right side and then you just put it down next to each other there's things like that so you could feasibly make a huge piece of art by just sectioning off yeah I'm doing the Mona Lisa tomorrow night (laughs) hell yeah yeah I can't wait man 
Yeah. Shit, I'm about to get on it right now. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm gonna do some MC Escher bullshit on it. Oh my god! I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. Some I'm John gonna Michelle Basquiat. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna Jackson Pollock, the right yeah. side of my island. <laughs> do it. Lord, um, that'd be awesome. But I think that's probably one of my favorite features, like upgraded features of this game, is that the- design. Yeah, the one thing I liked about it, as soon as I hopped into the design maker, which was probably on the first day, is that you can do a mirror image uh, very easily yep. mm-hmm. with it, which I don't know. That wasn't in any past ones, or was it? Like, I'm not really familiar with any past ones besides the GameCube version, which I know it wasn't in that. I think you could mirror in New Leaf. I didn't I make so. a lot of designs okay. in there, because like I yeah. said, you could barely do anything with the design. So now it's like... You could spend a shit ton of time making designs because you can do so much with them. Yeah, for uh, any anything symmetrical or like like even like building the pixels up from like one pixel to two pixels to four pixels or eight pixels, like and just like covering it in color, like it works so well for that. So yeah, I'm really enjoying the customization too, even though I haven't like dive deep into it yet like i still haven't done the qr code for the precisely logo yet but i plan on it i think it's a really cool idea yeah i that was like one of the first things i thought of once i realized you could do that and you know it's been well received i think matt i saw you rocking it for sure and then i also saw rose was wearing hers as well um but yeah if anybody else is wearing theirs in game or have it hanging somewhere in their house yeah, or please send it to us. yeah tag us send it to us let us know we'd love to see it it's super cool i'm glad it actually turned out kind of decent too i was it looks worried. awesome <laughs> yeah <laughs> Didn't it know how it would cool. show up but yeah that's probably like my favorite favorite thing about this game what uh what do you guys think what's your favorite thing about this this new horizons i just like the polish it's yeah. so polished. It's mm-hmm. so pretty. Mm-hmm. It's so you know what I mean. It's like you it's could. Beautiful. I could just sit there and watch the game all fucking day long. And I think I agree. Like there's when you compare it to old games, you would just see your villagers walking around, being like, hmm, 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 "I'm watering a plant," or "I'm just walking," or you know, whatever. Now, like my freaking characters are running around chasing each other with sticks in the plaza this yep. morning like naruto or if you catch something in front of them they'll be like oh snap and come and talk to you about it yeah they, they buy it off they of cheer you, you. Yeah. exactly yeah. Well, they so did it's... that in new leaf but yeah and like they were like working out the one day they were like lifting weights yeah <laughs> like super weird like the villagers just have so much more like That's- personality Stuff, like, yeah they just have like so much more to do like you could just stand there and they're just like off doing their own little lives so yeah. i think my my favorite part of this uh new horizons would be the nook miles i think mm. having mm-hmm. that separate currency really helps balancing you know the whole game because you can buy almost everything with with different currencies minus a few things that are needed so Nook Miles are like little mini quests that you can do within the game. Almost like an you just get, tracker. Yeah, you just get random, you know, Nook Miles for like cutting down a tree or planting a fruit tree or catching five bugs or selling 20 weed clumps, like whatever. And you just acquire those. And, you know, the main thing that you can buy with them is an airplane ticket to a random island that you'll never go back to again. That you can essentially just harvest the hell out of it, kill everyone that lives on it, and then leave. <laughs> Pretty much. Right? Yeah. yeah. In a nutshell. <laughs> Mine is killing, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> but really, yeah. just like harvest the hell out of it, and you can like burn it down, and nobody would care. Like, right. Nobody yeah, you would just, fucking you know You can just about pillage it. that thing, and, and yeah. you're good to go. Yeah. yeah. Then it'll start to unlock, um, I don't want to do too much spoiler, because I'm a little bit like further in the game i guess but uh the nook miles are gonna start to play a big you'll see they're gonna be more than just the um should i save them then 
Um, I mean, don't be afraid to spend them because like you said, dude, you're going to get so many of them because you're going to, I mean, I think I've got 24,000 right now. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. You're going to get them constantly. You know what I mean? So don't hoard them. Yeah. I I would go twice a day to the island once in the morning, once at night. That's what I do. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I'm only logging on once. So yeah, I, yeah. And I'm not even going to an island ever because I still have so much that I can do on my island. True. Within the time limit, the constraints that I have on an actual real life daily base. Right. You know, it's like, oh, I only have an hour to play right now. So let me, like, I'm not running to an island because I have all this other stuff I can do on my actual island. Yeah. I think uh, the Nook Miles are pretty cool. It's interesting because at the end of New Leaf, essentially, like the end of its lifetime, the last big update they did, I think, was the cat tickets. Which is mm. basically like the prerequisite to Nook Miles because they started okay. doing like a daily quest in it kind of thing. You had like three things that. you could do and you could earn these cat tickets and it would buy, you know, random stuff like that. So that's kind of when they started that and I realized it was like a daily quest kind of thing. I was like, oh shit, this is like the cat tickets. Like all I have to do is just do these things and I earn the miles and then I can buy certain things with these tickets. And so like I also try to make it a point to like do a couple of those little dailies that they have on the top, you know, the Nook Miles Plus or whatever they are. Yeah. So to earn extras. But yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Yeah, good addition for sure. For sure. So I have uh, a few questions for you guys. Right now. Just like random, random questions. But uh, if you could choose a different fruit than like the actual like four or five fruit that are in this game what what fruit or favorite fruit would you put into this game that's hard because my favorite fruit is peaches which are already in the game okay so, <laughs> um, go well what's kiwi, a what's man. a fruit that kiwi yeah yeah i have kiwi I as kiwi. one of mine yeah i love kiwi Kiwi's good. i would go with like a strawberry there you maybe go. Maybe some berries up okay. in this yeah. yeah, I always like me some strawberries. Yeah, Obviously, I love mangoes, but um, <laughs> True. I like watermelon would just be a cool addition. I feel like like there's yeah, so much, cool. so many good fruits out there. Dragon fruit would be a cool one too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and and bananas, right? There's no bananas. Not, like, no, not, in, this not, not in, in this one. Not in this one. Yeah, they they lost a couple fruits in this one, so I wonder. What that's going to be like, are they going to add, like, are, as you get further along in the game, can you acquire these other fruits that we're in? Maybe it'll be seasonal. Like, yeah, uh, bananas maybe. will come in the summer. Yeah, maybe. That would know. be weird. But it would like, make sense, though, right? Because I mean, the, the bananas fish are seasonal. here, like, yeah. go crazy in the summer. Yeah, but would your other plants not produce fruit then? That would be crazy. Uh-huh. I don't know. I, I, don't I don't know either. That'd All be right. interesting. All right, this is more of a rhetorical question, but I, I need to ask it because I wrote it down. What if Animal Crossing was reversed and you were an animal character moving into a community of humans? What if? What if I was an animal moving in with humans? So basically like my dog in real life. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Am I, am I like a pet? Or am I like a... No, no. Dude you, and like a stuff. You're suit? like a you're like a dog that can uh that's like anamorphic okay. that uh is going to an island okay. with humans and the humans are like, Oh, what's up, dog? You can talk and you're building a house and you're getting all the shit done on the island, that's cool. I don't but know, you're man. Still a dog. I guess yeah, I it's rhetorical. It, all right, it was funnier <laughs> in my head than it actually was saying it out loud. Oh like, no, I, I can think of the Paradise Island that I would want to be on, which is what? Okay, every single vehicle would have to be four wheel drive and have flamethrowers <laughs> on the front of it. Okay. okay, that doesn't sound like anything. <laughs> Animal now, crossing, but okay. <laughs> also. There's got to be a giant moat around everything. I want thousands of alligators in there, tons of them. And that sounds I like want to use some kind of magic so that they have fire breathing abilities because fire breathing alligators would be really fucking rad. And yeah. then I would want my people to be like a fucking reality TV show. So that oh, way boy. it would be entertaining. You know what I'm saying? So they would like 
always be some kind of drama like Susie banged fucking Tommy's mom so they're <laughs> fighting and fucking that would be the dumbest. This is like two steps off of Tiger King. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except with alligators. Hey man, you you said you wanted to bring me in. No. I'm fucking here. I love it. I'm here for it. <laughs> you talking about alligators real quick. Kelly, I saw on your island in the way back, you have a giant Godzilla sculpture. <laughs> yes, that, I do. So that dope. spits hot fire. Like, what is that? That is my new friend I just got today. How, mail from how my do Nook you Miles. get that? My Nook Miles. Nook Miles baby. Yep. What? 5,000 5, of them. Put him That's on my insane. secret beach in the back so he's always watching. I That's saw so him for cool. 5K and was like, I don't know, but I think I might have to cop. Yep. I was like, That's immediately, insane. I was like, I'm saving my miles and I'm doing this. And I did okay. it. I knew it's it. It's so big. It's like the it's biggest amazing. thing. He's my yeah. friend. Like so it. that's cool. I mean, that means that Nintendo has a bunch of stuff planned, like oh, for items absolutely. and stuff. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, cool. I'm not, it's probably I'm not concerned thousands about items of different at all. stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be that's good. cool. I bet they support this game for four to five years if I had to guess. Hundred percent, hundred percent. That's so. about the life of New Leaf, so I would absolutely. Yeah, because I'm thinking Splatoon two. I played the shit out of it, and it only got supported for two. I think. Yeah. And that was not nearly as big as Animal. No, Crossing. it wasn't as good. No. no, but still, yeah, I think this game will definitely have content coming out for a long time. It'll be fine. All right. Oh, yeah. So, last question. Uh-huh. From me, at the very least. Uh, if you could combine Animal Crossing with any other type of game or genre of game, what would it be and what would it look like? Kelly? Ooh. I want Animal Crossing Fallout. Ooh. Because I feel oh, like yeah. both of the games are very similar in like you have to craft things and you create your own space and you have to collect things. And I would just love to see Isabel coming out from a vault into a wasteland and being like, well, time to fuck shit up and put on <laughs> power armor. <laughs> so graphically, would it be more like Animal Crossing yeah. top down or would it be first person fallout? Uh, I would think it would be more like Animal Crossing. Okay, cool. That's what I'm thinking. I love it. <laughs> Matt, how about you? All right, I'm thinking, I know you don't play these games, but Resident Evil, third person, <laughs> Animal Crossing crossover, <laughs> fucking zombies everywhere. I'm blowing their brains out all over the beach. Shit is getting fucking wild. Oh, it's got to be a DLC pack. It has to now. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. I'm down for it. I like it so a lot. So mine was, uh, mine I actually thought about, you know, right before this recording when I was playing, and I, I built my own bridge, and I went to Kelly's Island, and she had a stone bridge with one of, uh, like, those Mario characters What's uh, a sitting outside. Yeah, and he's like, oh, you want to donate some bells for this stone bridge? I'm like, sure. And there's only like 600-some bells donated already. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll, like, I'm very, like, even with my math. So I had, like, 46,050 bells. So I was like, I'll do 1,050 bells, and that makes my thing go to 45,000. You know, so I was like, 1,050, and he's like, Oh, thanks, chum. And I'm like, damn, like, I just gave you all these bells, you know, more than you already had, and you called me a chum. But I was like, that's cool. I was like, that also reminds me of Death Stranding and how you can, you know, link up with people that you don't even see in the world, but they're building these bridges. And it's sort of what I was doing on your island. I was, like, helping promote your bridge with the right products or enough currency to make sure that it was built but something like that where it's death stranding but animal crossing graphics where you're you're building a whole island or world you know together without even seeing each other you're all just mining materials and putting it together yeah very cool right on i'd play it i like it yeah i would tell yeah sweet Kojima, hit up Nintendo. <laughs> Could you imagine? 
<laughs> I could. The I fans just said would it, go yeah. fucking nuts. I yeah. would lose my shit. <laughs> yeah, everyone would. Everyone would definitely lose their shit. It'd be a funny, amazing thing, actually. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. So one of the questions, one of my last couple of questions was about your villagers, like about your neighbors. How do you like, how do you feel about, are you picky with yours? Like I know some people try to force villagers out or they hunt for certain ones to try to get them to come. Are you being picky or are you just kind of taking whoever shows up? I hate them. I hate my two that I started with. <laughs> <laughs> they, could, they could leave and I could care less. Okay. Honestly. So. I went to Bo's Island, and his duck is on meth. I swear to God. Yeah, what's nice. his name? Schizo or something? Schizo. Jitters. Uh, Jitters. Jitters. Yeah. Oh, he has Jesus. dark circles around his eyes. Oh, and, man. Like, real, Jitters, real pupil. Does, Jitters only comes out of his house. He keeps his door locked all the time. Um, <laughs> Yo, he's cooking but, lots of meth. In so you I'm can't saying. go into his house, even if he's there, because he's nowhere else on the island. It's like Jitters is away. Oh, but uh, he only comes out like once it gets dark out too, and he's just... yeah, because he's gonna come rob your shit because he's a tweaker. <laughs> yeah, he's a duck. He's a duck, <laughs> and he hides. And I'm just like, dude, go quack at a different island. He I sounds I interesting. Send quackness. him over to my island. Uh, Fuck it. You don't I'll want it, man. Him. You just want the math. <laughs> <laughs> You want the drugs, Matt. <laughs> All right, we'll just be honest. That's what it is. I want the yeah. virtual meth. God damn it. Check to see if any of his uh, little beak teeth are missing. When there you go. Yeah, All right. <laughs> and then the Faces other guy that I have is uh, a green bear. So, like, I'm a little disappointed that both my animals are the yeah, same, like, neon green color. Your The bear you have, Charlize, is one of my villagers in New Leaf. Well, I didn't mind okay. very much. She was fine. So it was kind of cool to see her in this game, even if yeah, she was on sure. the island. It's just a familiar face. Oh, man. I got two villagers that are awesome, and I like them, and they actually yeah, like have cool stuff to say. And I'm, like, finding myself wanting to talk to them. And then one that I wish there was an option to feed her to the sharks because it would be so, so satisfying. <laughs> oh, man. Good old Renee. Oh. As soon as as soon as I get that chance, baby, you gone, you out. <laughs> I ain't dealing with your bullshit. I uh, mine. I have like three that are pretty decent. Um, like I don't mind them. They're not, you know, my favorite, but they're fine. Um, and then the one that I started with is this baboon named Boone, and he has the smallest fucking eyeballs I've ever seen <laughs> on an Animal Crossing character, and it's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> he like he always talks about working out and stuff and then he like came out with these guy fieri glasses on the one day and was like talking to me and i was like look man i don't want to go to flavor town with a guy who has eyeballs that are the size of a penny like, i'm not here for it <laughs> he was just he's wild i don't know <laughs> but uh he sounds awesome he's he's cool i might keep him around just because he looks so fucking weird um, and then yeah. I showed you the other guy who showed up at my campsite today that I have who's going to move in. His name is Hippo, but it's H-I-P-P-E-A-U-X. And he's like this hoity-toity looking, I don't know, motherfucker. He's got this little smoking jacket on and a cup of tea. Oh, hell no. And he's all like... He's all bougie and whatnot. Yeah. And I was like, this guy is the ugliest. He's uglier than Boone. And I thought Boone was ugly. He's uglier <laughs> than him. <laughs> He looked like know. Trump. Yeah, that's what you said. Oh my like, god, yeah, he did. He does though. He has little hair and everything. Oh my god, I, he's gonna move in tomorrow, funny. so I can't wait for that. So I have two ugly fucking villagers, and then the third one that is just out of this world is Eric, and he's a little deer. And I met him on one of those Nook Island mile tickets. Okay. And I went to this island, and he was sitting there, and I was like, oh, he's a really cute little deer, and he's wearing this sweater, and it's adorable, and he's talking about snacks. I like this guy. I'm going to invite him. So he shows up, moves in and everything, whatever. is fine. And then he comes to me on his first day, and he's like, oh, I brought you this gift, you know, to, to start our friendship or whatever. I was like, ooh, cool. So he's like, here, jail bars. And I was like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> 
Nice. <laughs> and I, I took them out of my pocket. I put them up. It's literally like full size jail bars. And he was like, put them on your favorite spot on the island or whatever. And I was like, I know where the fuck these are going because this guy's a serial killer. Like, I put them right in front of his door. And I was like, this is for your own good. <laughs> Can he get in and out of his house? So? Yeah, I, I took them off. But like, <laughs> oh, okay. I stuck them there and I was like, I don't know. Should I just leave this he there? Was getting a 24 hour lockdown. Right. But what? Essentially, if you put an item in front of they someone's can't leave. door? Yeah, they can't leave their house then or get back in and then they'll that. eventually move out. Yeah. Get How out. can they move out? They, they just say I'm out. leaving or whatever. They like okay. I don't want to be here anymore. I'm leaving. So if you don't want a villager, you can just block their door. Okay, cool. But uh, yeah, so he's just like, and he keeps giving me these like super weird vibes now. Like every time I talk to him, I'm just like, yeah, this guy's definitely a serial killer. So I've been like gifting him knife blocks and anatomical <laughs> human models. <laughs> That's weird. So how do you gift an item to someone? Do you just hold it? No, you could send it to them via the mail. Uh, um, okay, that's the only way. Yeah, you go to the mail and write them a note, and then you attach a present. So, do they talk about it then yeah. with you? Like, oh, thank you for the gift, or I put this, and you can go in their house and you can see it. So, I'm trying to make his house oh, like cool. unintentionally look like a murder cave eventually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Oh man, I'm getting a treasure trove of knowledge right now. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That's so, uh, uh, fine. Uh, any closing statements with you guys since we went over the happy hour hour? Yeah, it's a little bit. Oh, it was a pleasure being on here. I'll tell you that. Yeah. yeah. Any, like, hints or tips that you want to give uh, people that just started Animal Crossing? or If you uh, just started playing it, the best way you're going to advance in the game is to play with other people. Don't sit there and play by yourself. You can only get so far so fast. So get on there. Get on with your friends. You know what I mean? That's going to be how you're going to get the full experience. If you just sit there and play it by yourself, you're not going to get the full Animal Crossing experience. Yeah, I agree. 100%. Bo, do you have any tips? Uh, Just uh, try to get all the fruit right away. Like, the the fruit that you start off with, like I had pears, that only goes for a certain amount uh, selling it. But really just hoard it and plant it once you get the shovel, um, plant more fruit trees and then go to other islands and get other people's fruit and plant that because other uh, not indigenous fruit from your island goes for double the price, I believe. Yeah, it sells at, for more. At the Nook store. So it's a great way to, you know, hustle the market, I guess. Like keep your pears for yourself and then hustle everything else. Get them, get them bells. Yeah, yeah, get them bells, boy. Become yeah. a billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> a billionaire. Oh my god. Uh, I would what agree with both of you in in the way that like I think that the best way to play the game is to leave your island almost every day if you can, multiple times a day. Um, you know, go to a friend's island, go to the Nook Islands, you know, get non-native fruits get non-native flowers get um different fossils different critters those kind of things that you can't get there because if you stay on your own you won't get as much as what you could if you're leaving and going out and visiting other places and taking from there um and you know be smart about your your sp spending and saving just like in real life you know look at yep. what's hot try to f make the hot item as much as you can that day if you can make it you know Get those extra bells. Yep. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got as far as tips. Cool. So, oh, yeah. um, it's been it's been fun. And oh, yeah, we're just getting started, too. Yeah, I, I can't wait to keep playing this game. And with you guys, it's been real fun. So, um, if you're on Animal Crossing or if you're going to pick it up, like I said, make sure to check out our QR code to download our logo onto your game. And you can rock that thing. Uh, check out our socials on Instagram, Precisely Podcast, um, or on Facebook, same thing. Uh, whatever is your jam. And uh, look out for more updates. And, you know, we'll be doing more of these happy hours and yep. uh, more regular episodes to come. 
Yeah, and uh, give us uh, a little subscription on iTunes or Spotify, and please rate and review us if you can, because that helps us be able to find other listeners that might be searching for something similar that you're listening to. Yeah, we're all in quarantine together. Help them out. Yeah. And Matt, thanks for uh, being on this podcast. We appreciate your friendship and your support as a listener to this podcast with all your comments and stuff. Uh, Dude, any time. Yeah. You already know what time it is, baby. You hit me up. It's any time time with Matt. That's right, baby. (laughs) You call me at 3 o'clock in the morning and be like, we want to do a cut podcast, motherfucker. I'm going to make it happen. Cool, man. I appreciate it. Well, thank you, Kelly. Yeah, thank you. It's been a blast, guys. All right. All right. Well, yeah. have a good night and uh, enjoy your islands. Yeah, I'll we see you. We out of here. We're all on island time. Yeah. <laughs> Peace. Bye. We out. <laughs>